In this one, I'm gonna be replacing my stock indicators on my Sportster 72 for these eBay special underperch indicators, which come from China. China? I bought two sets of these indicators as they're only $15 a set. And in case they don't last the test of time, I've got another set as a backup. I have purchased a set of underperch indicators for $200 previously for my Softail Street Bob. And I wasn't blown away by the brightness of the LED. So I thought there was no way I was gonna spend $200 again for underperch indicators. Hence why I've gone with these cheapies. So these indicators have three wires running to them. So the reason why it has three wires is because one of these wires is a running light and another is the indicator light. In Australia here, we don't have running lights on our indicators. So I'm just gonna use this battery here to work out which wire is the brightest. And therefore, I'll use that as my indicator light. Black wire to the negative terminal on the battery and then the red wire to the positive. And that looks pretty damn bright. Now I'll test out the yellow one. And as you can see, the red wire runs brighter than the yellow. So that's what I'm gonna to use to wire up onto my bike as that will be the brightest light for my indicator. So I'll just start off by removing these mirrors. So with these underperch indicators, they mount up by the mirror going through them and then tying off with a nut at the top. And I'll just show you, as you can see, the thread on the mirror won't go through the hole in the indicator. Not a big deal because I'm gonna be replacing my mirrors with bar clamp mirrors. But what I will be using is just some bolts that do go through the indicators and then just for the time being, some nylock nuts. I will be getting some dome nuts in the future, but I just didn't have any lying around. So I'm just gonna keep the stock indicators on here whilst I'm out the new ones, just to give you an idea of the size difference and how much cleaner they look. So before I go wiring up the new indicators, what I'm gonna do is just remove my seat and disconnect the battery, as I don't wanna blow any fuses, just in case when I cut the wires, they arc out. So all I need to do is just disconnect that positive terminal to the battery, and I have to turn my ignition on, because when I disconnect this, if the ignition isn't on, then my alarm's gonna signal. So let's disconnect these big ugly sons of bitches. I don't know why I had a southerner accent. As you can see with these underperch indicators they come with plenty of wiring. So I'm just going to cut the stock indicators right about there. I don't know these are dodgy wire strippers but they do the trick. So as you can see there's two wires black being the ground and purple being the positive. So I'm just gonna wire up black to black and red to purple. So strip the black wire and strip the red wire. So this shrink tape will go over both the outer sheathings of the indicator wiring after these are soldered up. So I'll run it over now. With the yellow wire, you really don't need to cap it off as there's no power going to it, but I'm just gonna fold it over and put some tape over it anyway. So I'm put a tiny zip tie just there to get that wiring out of the way. And I'll do the same to this one. And 
and voila, easy as that on the install. Alrighty, so that's the indicators installed. What I'm gonna do now is just a comparison between the stock indicators and these underperch indicators in natural light and then in darkness. Alrighty, so that was a comparison between the LED underperch indicators and the stock indicators which run a glow on my Sportster 72. So what I'm going to do now is just show up a video of the $200 underperch indicators which I bought several years ago for my Softail Street Bob. So as you can see, those $200 underperch indicators are no brighter than these $15 cheapies off eBay. Obviously I can't talk on the longevity of these $15 indicators as of yet, but just looking at them, they look like they're pretty decent quality, especially for the price. So that outer housing is made out of alloy, and it's not a cheap plastic housing, so it's not going to break when you torque down those bolts. And those LEDs are certainly bright enough. Anyway guys, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of these indicators, but I couldn't be more happy with them, especially for the price. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.